Today, we're going to analyze the data for the San Antonio Spurs and also include the OKC Thunder as a reference point as they are the team to beat. We're using a powerful data tool, Logistic Regression with L1 optimization to dissect their entire 2024-25 season and find the hidden factors that actually lead to a win. Firstly, the logistic regression tells us if the team even has a consistent winning formula. Then, the L1 part cuts through all the noise. Out of hundreds of stats, it isolates only the most impactful signals, the stuff that truly matters on game day. And it all boils down to this, a simple chart that acts as a power ranking for what wins games for the Spurs. This chart is the key. It lets us define their real identity understand their off-season moves, and even predict what they'll do next. Let's break it down, look at the result. It's a straight 50%, a pure coin flip. Now before you say our model stinks, think about what that really means. That 50% is the real story. It's a perfect mirror of a team that had no consistent, repeatable way to win last season. They were unpredictable by nature. Just for context, when we run the same model on a team with a clear identity like the OKC Thunder, it hits a solid 70%. So, that coin flip accuracy isn't a bug. It's the most important feature. With that settled, let's dive into the DNA of what did work for the Spurs when they managed to pull out a win. The first truth is simple, this is Wemby's team. The most powerful winning ingredient with a staggering 1.45 impact score is points from the front court. End of story, that's the foundation. The second truth, the guards are the enforcers. Forget just scoring, the model screams that the Spurs win when their guards create absolute chaos. We're talking a 1.37 impact from forcing turnovers and a 1.04 impact from guards getting blocks. The formula is simple, bigs bring the thunder, guards bring the lightning. But the third truth is where it gets weird. We found two counterintuitive signals that tell you everything about their weaknesses. First, the Spurs system completely breaks down when the opposing front court takes over the game. We're not just talking about scoring. When an opponent's bigs start acting like playmakers, dishing out assists and protecting the rim with authority, the data shows the Spurs' entire game plan short circuits. It's their kryptonite. And the final twist? More blocks from Wemby doesn't always mean a win. In fact, it's a slight negative. It's a red flag from the data that if he's having a massive block party, it's because the defense in front of him has already collapsed. The numbers show a quiet night for Victor might just be the secret to a victory. Now let's run the Thunder data to see if it reveals something. Something that we don't know. We know that the Thunder wins because of their defense and the free throws. But what our model discovered is the playmaking ability of their center being the most deciding factor. Not only that, their front court defense should be lights out, secondary are the guards production. Then another interesting mind bending findings is the positive coefficient for the opponent's front court steals and the negative coefficient for the opponent's front court block. Seems paradoxical right? But the data reveals OKC's offensive genius lies in what we can call the pull and punish strategy. When the numbers show a steal from an opponent's big man is a good thing for the Thunder, it's not celebrating the turnover. It's celebrating that OKC's guards have successfully dragged the other team's best rim protector out of the paint and onto an island. That steal is just the occasional cost of a devastatingly effective strategy because they would much rather have the big man attempting a clumsy steal in the mid-range than have him waiting to block the shot at the rim. Alright, let's wrap this all up. What did we actually learn? We learned that the data doesn't lie. The Spurs coin flip 50% accuracy versus the Thunder solid 70% wasn't a bug. 
It was the headline. It proved our model works by showing us the statistical difference between a team in discovery mode and a team that knows its formula. And we discovered the Spurs secret formula in the process. It's simple but powerful. Surround your generational score with defensive dogs. The entire system is being built to have hyper aggressive guards and wings wreak havoc on the perimeter preserving Wembenyama's energy so he can dominate on offense, where he has the biggest impact. This blueprint even explains their off-season moves. A guy like Luke Cornett isn't a random signing, he's a perfect system fit. A big who doesn't need the ball, defends the scheme, and lets the guards have fun when Wemby is on the bench. It's a move straight out of the data playbook. And remember the final mind-bending twist, the Wemby Paradox. A massive block party for Victor can actually be a red flag that the team's perimeter defense stinks. The goal isn't for him to be the hero on every play, it's to build a team that's so good he doesn't have to be. But that's my analysis, the big question is what do you think? Drop your take in the comments below. Thanks for nerding out with me. Stay curious.